the floor as a player. And, uh, you know, they've stuck, they've stuck with the team, provided leadership uh, off the floor there during practice. Uh, you know, that, that's, a, that's a big thing, I think. And uh, you got to imagine what their guts are thinking when they don't get to go out and play on Tuesday and Friday night, you know. Uh, that's got to be a, it's got to be tough for them. So, uh, you know, I think it's, it's good to recognize those players and their senior leadership that they provide, even though they don't get a chance to play on the floor. And they're introducing the Blackman starters right now. And you want to do that, Mark? Sure. We'll go ahead and run through that. One, one post position player that I want you to really watch tonight. And I tell you, he is something else. Blake Bragg. I think he's probably going to be the spark tonight. But David Barnes, one of those consistent players. He'll be starting on a wing position. Alex Carter in the backcourt, sharpshooter. A guy to really keep your eye on. Number 15, Sean Smith. One of those guys that'll sneak up on you. I imagine he might be matched up with Alex Johnson or T-Log tonight. And and the big guy down low, Paul Stevens, occupies a lot of space. Great rebounder, but he'll surprise you. Pop out and shoot the three on occasions if you leave him open in the corner. So you're starting five for Blackman. David Barnes, Alex Carter, Sean Smith, Paul Stevens, and Blake Bragg. I tell you, Coach, I've got a chance to watch these guys for the last couple years, and this is one of those teams that you can throw out the record for some reason they get fired up for Lebanon Oakland and Riverdale and on paper you'd look at it and think wow they won't stand a chance but somehow or another this Blackman bunch right here always manages to put together a good game we'll give you a five on the floor to start out the second half for Lebanon or first excuse me the second game for the Lebanon boys tonight in the middle Herschel McCatherine he'll jump center one wing Alex Johnson the other wing Terrence Lode the second part of the Twin Towers Connor Berger and your point guard, O'Keefe McCarver. Tip controlled by Blackman. Barnes, he'll get it back. And we're underway. Here's Smith, works in the backcourt over to Stevens. Stevens out high, guarded by McCather. Goes across to Smith. Smith here near wings to Barnes. Shoots a three. Sideline iron, no good. Long rebound, Terrence Logue. Logue kicks to McCarver. Here comes Lebanon. McCarver, top of the key, kicks right side, low, bounce pass down to McCather, and he works on Stevens, short jumper up, no good. Rebound, fought for, controlled, taken out of there by Alice Carter. Carter stops top of the key, feeds Smith inside. Little running, wild-looking shot, no good. Stevens' offensive putback, no good, but he's fouled. Wow. Here we go with that different pace, Coach. It always takes us a minute or two. Yes, it does, Mark. It, uh, it really picks up as we start this ball game out with the boys and the girls contrast there. Great, great movement uh, by both of these clubs to start the game out as he hits his first one. Uh, so Stevens' his first free throw. T. Log with his first foul as he second gets the second. Good. Yes. So Stevens converts both. Blackman needs early. Two to nothing. Here's Logue. Kicks it to McCarver. Feeds right side to Logue. Kick pass over to Johnson. And they'll call a travel. My goodness. So That's turnover gives it back to Blackman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're fine. Yeah, we're quiet because we're trying to get ourselves organized and find that Blackman roster. Just be honest about it. As the Blue Devils put good pressure on. Boy, that full court has been effective for them this year. Here's McCarver on Carter out front. Carter dribbles across, feeds Barnes on the way to the basket, and the layup is good. So the left-hander shoots it with the right hand and converts it, and Blackman's up for zip. Here's McCarver, guarded by Smith. Works right side. They're going to call a Ricci in that time on Sean Smith. Kind of a ticky-tack foul, but he did, did commit it, and they did call it. So team fouls even at one apiece. Yeah, and they're probably thinking these boys are going to be a little more physical, so they're going to stop it early so it doesn't get too physical. Nice early in the basket early we got the bottom of McCaffrey down early had great position just couldn't get it to go down there's McCarver over to McCaffrey McCaffrey now to to Johnson feeds right side to Logue feeds to McCarver from the right elbow and it's good first points for Lebanon they're down 4-2 minute and a half in McCarver strikes and the lead's cut in half pretty jump shot by Oki here's that full court pressure one two two they get it to Smith he's cut off by Johnson nowhere to go he's still in the backcourt but he'll weave his way up the left wing. Wide open is Carter to the basket for a layup. Blackman up by four. Wow. Snowbird job that time by Alice Carter. Converts the long outlet pass. Blackman six, Lebanon two. Here's McCarver between the rings. Guarded by Smith. 
Feeds right side to Logue. Logue got high to Berger. Berger down low to McCaffrey and a reach over from behind, and that's going to be Stevens. Boy, and he has transformed himself. I tell you, folks, if you had seen Paul Stevens when he was a freshman, the difference between then and now is unbelievable for this Blackman Blaze squad as Berger checks out Michael Edwards in for the first time. Stevens is first, the team second right now as they did the high low to try to get it inside the hole. There's Johnson, great feet down low to McCaffrey, works the baseline in the land of the Giants, misses one, puts it back up and in though, stays with it, so Big Mac, with a Big Mac attack that time as he double-dosed it, Lebanon down by two, 6-4, inbounds. That will pay off later on, because he's got position all three times and only got one of them to go down, that will pay dividends later. Boy, he has owned Steven in the early going. Logue tries to cut across as Blake Bragg worked across the timeline and they'll call the reach in. It's a second on uh, T. Logue, too. Not wow. good early. That happened to him Tuesday as well. Got in early foul trouble. So off the bench, Xavier Smith. And you know, he, he, he got that second foul and you can see it in his eyes over there right now. He is excited about uh, playing basketball tonight. Very excited. So your five on the floor, McCatherine, Edwards, Alex Johnson, and they're not going to let Xavier Smith come in yet. So Logue stays in there with this two and O'Keefe McCarver. Bragg in the backcourt, gets Ooh. it in to Maurice. Mauricio Wallace into the game for the first time. Stevens out high to Wallace. Great feed to Barnes on the way to the basket, and he traveled. Travel. He basically tripped over his own feet, looked like. Sure did. I could as, be uh, wrong. As X-Man comes in the ball game, Xavier Smith. And, uh, yeah, looking for a little, little pushing going on down here right now, Marv. As I noticed, Bragg uh, give two forearms as he came <laughs> to the lane. So look for things to happen with him before it's over. Here's Smith out high, penetrates the lane. He'll back it back out. Hand off to McCarver. McCarver works on the left wing, a cluster over there. There's three blue devils within one probably five foot area. Here's Smith works his way across the right. Had a lane momentarily, but Stevens pops out. Smith Edwards at the right elbow, right at the free throw line. Kick pass over to Johnson. Johnson guarded by Bragg. He'll spin his way across the lane. Down low to Edwards in that same spot McCatherine was. He muscles it up, and they'll call the foul again. So the big man for Lebanon working that baseline as ball reversal gets an outlet to get in there to him. Boy, and Edwards and McCatherine both doing a great job with position coach. They're playing over the top on their postmen down there and when we get the basketball we're just dropping baseline we're dropping towards the out of bounds line I would say and uh, get in position and getting on the glass the last time uh, as Edwards hits his first one the last time down there they tried to front Herschel to maybe stop that from happening as um, um, Paul goes Paul Stevens goes out and into the game for the first time is Dewan Brown as Edwards hits the second. So the big men continue to shoot it well from the charity strike. And Lebanon's tied it at six. Inbounds, boy, quick hands by Alex Johnson. They're going to say that he committed a foul on that one. They tried to get it in on that far side to Mauricio Wallace. I thought Johnson had good position, deflected it, but they'll say they got him with the body. His first team third as, uh, again, they're not going to let much go on early in this game. Full court pressure one more time. Here's Wallace across the line, working on Johnson. Penetrates, goes down low. Johnson gets it from Bahag, deflects it. And here's Edwards, gets it off to Smith. Smith in the front court, drives all the way down, short 10-footer off the glass, no good. Edwards had a hand on it, but taken out of there by Mauricio Wallace. Here comes Blackman in a hurry. That outlet pass too tall for Carter, and Coach Kyle almost made a play on that one. He did, he was close, and uh, he did do a good job of officiating there, because he was able to point the other way. On that one, Coach, well, I'm not, not going to be negative, I'm going to be positive. <laughs> Got to be positive. <laughs> Great, uh, great well, work. Okay. Talk about that tie then and be positive. <laughs> and Lebanon has a ball on the upper end. <laughs> Here's McCarver across the lane, stops at the free throw line, short jumper, bounces around, no good battle for the rebound, tipped out by Johnson. Wow. What hops? McCarver for three, in and out, no good. Backside rebound goes in there to Brown, Brown and he falls down and looks like he might have turned an ankle. I think he fell on uh, McCatherine's foot. I believe he did. Uh, Ouch. Not a good sign for Brown as the trainers come out to adjust him. Again, we just looked at Alex Johnson as they're looking at Brown. They went way up above everybody and tipped the basketball out uh, to get that offensive board for him. And Coach, I want you to know, Justin McKinney across the way is actually helping Lauren Dorsett from the Lady Blaze with a little bit of a knee injury from early on. Inbounds goes to Edwards in the corner, out to McCarver. 
McCarver gets a screen from Big Mac, works around, feeds right side Smith, face the three, back to McCarver, almost lost it. 341 and counting, tied at six. Here's McCarver, jump circle, hands off to Xavier Smith. You've got fans everywhere. Little boy played junior pro football for me earlier in the year. Malcolm Meneer's little bro, uh, cousin. Oh, and McCarver penetrates, and Alex Carter just steadily riding him towards that sideline, and he gets called for the body foul. Alex is first and team fourth foul. So four quick fouls with 324 to go. 11 and three fouls from shooting free throws. Here's Smith out high, guarded again by Carter. Newark's top of the key feeds right side of McCarver as he pops out, gets a screen from Big Mac. Edwards as well, almost a big man picket fence, top of the key. Here's Smith on the right side to Johnson in the corner. Johnson works around as well. He'll work to the left side, feed McCarver in the corner. Ball fake, drives the baseline. Short jumper blocked by Paul Stevens. We don't see that much from McCarver. No, He's normally don't. pretty good with his shot selection. There's Wallace dumped down low to Stevens, and Alex Johnson gets him with the body as he came from that backside help defense, and That's Stevens Alex's, got mugged. Alex's second foul, team four. Uh, the little boy you talked about a while ago was Cartez Manier. You'll hear his name later on in Blue Devil history. Josh Hubbard goes to the scores table. Here's David Barnes, three-pointer, no good. Edwards up strong for that one. Cleans the glass, dishes to Smith. Here comes Lebanon. Six apiece, 2.39 to go here in the first quarter. McCarver on the right wing, down low to McCathern. One more time, right side of the lane. They go out and then back in, and then it's taken away. Here comes Bragg, cut off by Smith. He'll take it to the hole over Johnson. Running jumper, no good. Tipped out of bounds by Steven. Should be Lebanon's ball, and he is. Into the ball game for the first time, Josh Hubbard. In returning will be Connor Berger. Your five on the four for the Blue Devils. McCarver, Hubbard, Smith, Berger, and Edwards. Uh, good ball game so far, Mark. Good, good crowd, Coach. Yeah, Look great at crowd. it. It is. It is a good night here. Be interesting to see how this thing turns out. Might be 28 outside, but it's 97 in here. Hubbard left side to Smith. Edwards goes across the lane out to Berger. He'll shoot a three, but just fakes that one. But Carver back across to Edwards. That is not outside Berger's range. Believe me, folks. We've seen him nail it. There's Smith. Back to Hubbard. Hubbard looks for the cutter, instead back across to McCarver. Rather than patient on offense. Very, very. Connor Berger, guarded by Stevens, goes to Smith. Boy, and they are really working the motion. It's almost like a generic four corners as they shift sides. There's Hubbard on the left side to Smith. Edwards cuts across, back to Berger, and he will finally take the three and nail it. Told you he had range, folks. Balls from three-point land, Lebanon leads 9-6, their first lead of the ball game. Prophecy by Marv. I think. Yep. Oh, boy, and that one. Blackman. That was just a bad pass by Stevens, but forced in part by that full court pressure. So Edwards to the bench. Casey Nunley in the ball game. Boy, and it's good to see these youngsters get in, and Casey Nunley is a good looking sophomore, and he is the future of Blue Devil basketball, as well as Hubbard and Hutto and some of these other kids off the bench that are sophomores. Here's Smith in the corner for three. Side of the iron, no good. There's Nunley up like a jumping jack, just couldn't control it. Carter has it, and Hubbard called for the reach in for Lebanon. Wow. Bowers and Pitts also in the ball game for Blackman as Hubbard gets his first foul. So first foul on Hubbard, but fifth already on Lebanon. Here is Mauricio Wallace in the backcourt working on McCarver. Goes in here near side, and there's Alex Carter, short elbow jumper, no good. Rebounded, Connor Berger. Boy, Berger is a monster on the glass when he gets position. Here is Smith. He's had a great year this year as post player. Hadn't he, though? He has. Pitts in there down low to, to guard Nunley. Knocked it away, but Carter tried to save it and touched it, so it stays with Lebanon. Pitts into the game for the first time. Matt Pitts, a name familiar to Blue Devil fans as well, and also Carl Vick in the game. So wholesale substitutions by Blackman. Oh, corner jumper by McCarver just inside the line, but good nonetheless. Lebanon leads 11 to 6. Clock continues to run, 42, 41, 
set the inbounds. There's Vick up ahead of the pack. Boy, a fortuitous bounce as Pitts recovers, but blows the layup, and Berger had the rebound momentarily, and for some strange reason, he doesn't get the foul call on the possession. They'll give it back to Blackman. Still great hustle there by uh, Connor Berger just to get his hands up and make something happen. 